Hey everyone, I'm here with uh, a, a friend and uh, a client, someone uh, that I, I met um, well a little over a year ago now, uh, Dave and uh, Dave Hoffel. And Dave, thank you for taking some time out of your day, and also thank you for being willing to talk about your journey in regards to uh, selling your business. Yeah, yeah, you bet. It's um, it's a pleasure to be on, and I want to make sure that everybody knows these are. Very interesting transitions we go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about. Um, I remember our first conversation. I was, uh, I was actually uh, getting my car serviced, and I was, I was standing outside this place. Uh, it was, it was in uh, I think December ish time frame, and uh, and so I was chatting with you and. You were talking through a little bit about, you pictured the story of, of, of where you, uh, I remember something about your car and I also remember something about a banana, if I remember <laughs> right. For some damn reason, I remember something about a banana. I don't know why. I just honestly do, um, which is kind of funny because my daughter left a banana in the car this morning, um, very coincidentally, but I don't believe in coincidence, but regardless, can, um, do you remember, do you remember that conversation and more importantly, not the conversation, but where you were at emotionally and mentally at that time? Yeah, for sure. It, it's really interesting because I I had heard about you through a another friend's podcast, and I'd listened to that podcast. I'm like, well, Chris, this is a a cool guy, and I thought I had my my act pretty well together. And um, I had just gotten back from a five day weekend with my wife and a couple friends, and it was around Christmas time. And I was down there, had a really good time. And when a lot of times when I'm on vacation, I'm not. I'm thinking about work sometimes, but it's actually building guilt up in me because I'm not working, right? Because mm. that's what I've done for the past 30 years. I got back back home and I'm rushing to work and um, I eat a banana every day at 10. That's my snack. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. And I was driving to work and I recognized, I looked over and I didn't have my banana in the car seat next to me. And I really just started to bash myself for not caring about others for like, what am I doing? Like you spent all this money last week and then now I'm going into, you know, quote unquote, penny pinch at the company. And I, I literally pulled over, um, went into the, the grocery store. I was trying to decide whether I should buy myself lunch or not, because that was um, like for not bringing the banana, there's a there's a consequence to everything, which is again, part of my, my stuff we've been working on together. Yeah. And I re-listened to that podcast. So I re-listened to that podcast and I contacted my buddy and said, I need to get a hold of Chris, right? And yeah. I need freaking help because this is a this is not where I want to be with the success that my business was having and who I was yeah. as a person. I had this huge basically meltdown over you know a, a banana. So that's where the banana came into the story. <laughs> and that's when I recognized I really had some issues. Was your podcast with getting clarity and being feeling fulfilled, yeah. and here I am uh, having a bit of a panic attack. Yeah, that's you know it's it's interesting because you know we. We, we wire ourselves in, in a way, especially folks that like yourself or myself, or people I work with are high achievers. And so we create these um, ability to produce outcomes, right? Like a successful business. And um, you, created, you created this business, um, a manufacturing business there, and you, you grew it. And, but you, the, part of the reason you were able to is because you held these standards against yourself, right? It's almost like, I'll reward myself this way or punish myself this way if, if I get a, a certain certain amount of uh, of behavior and um, and a lot of a lot of folks don't realize that that we do this and what ends up happening is is that we get to a point in our lives that we can't get to the peace and happiness and joy that we want because we've created a prison. Um, our current reality, which has been built upon patterns of production, if you will, right? And um, so, tell me a little bit about what, what, um, how, how long, how long have you had had you at that point been building your business? And um, what you know, how, what, 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 and what were you wrestling with in regards to? Okay, as you looked ahead, right? So here you were. You had a, a company that was producing a decent profit, paying yourself um, and your, your employees, and and your it, things were kind of in that one. And this was this is pre pandemic, but regardless, some people were uh, negatively impacted. You you weren't anyway, but regardless, it's like you know here you are, and some people would have loved to be in your situation. So what as you looked ahead in the future, what was it that you wanted to be different? 
Yeah, so I think the biggest thing was is that, um, you know, I'd worked in the business for 29 years, basically got out of college, went to go work for my dad in the family business. And um, I was 21, had a baby at the time. Um, and there was just a lot of responsibility I had. So anything that was ever put in front of me, you know, I, I basically had to accept, accept that that's my path, right? I just have yeah. to do this. I don't have a choice. I can't turn back and, and undo what I had done. So I take whatever's in front of me and just consume it, right? And that's, that's what I did. So as, as the company grew, I, I was letting go of a lot of responsibility at the company because we did a thing called traction in our business, which yep. was really, really good. Yep. But I still felt like I needed to be doing more. Like whenever I go on vacation, like what didn't I do this week? What, yeah. where, what wasn't I doing that I should have been done? How was I not helping my, you know, 40 some employees? Like what could I have done better? And, and I think what I recognized at that point was that um, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be responsible for all my employees, all of their people, my wife, my kids, my parents, and all of that kind of was revolving around on this business. Like the, the business was my way to do all of that financially supporting my family, you know, doing all those things. And I think where I was at that moment, I kind of recognized I was in your terms, I was never present. So mm -hmm. I was always either on vacation trying to be at work or I was at work wishing that I was with my family or I was, yeah. you know, driving yeah. in my car, going somewhere saying I should have been over here doing that because there was always so many demands pulling me in too many directions. I could never really pick I felt like I never picked the right direction to go. So what I really wanted to do is just try to figure out, you know, what, what am I going to do in the future as I'm letting go of responsibility at the company and my employees were doing a wonderful job. Um, I have, have really great people. How am I going to try to be not having a, a fit about spending money or forgetting something and, and, and moving on to whatever the second half of my life might be. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I was kind of at. And I recognized like, I can't be this way every day. I can't go have fun with my wife and come back and be just torturing myself because I did something that most people in my situation, maybe they feel the same way as me, but, but I don't think they would come home and have that kind of reaction to, you know, a, a 29 cent banana. And that was the shock. And I yeah. wanted that to never happen again. And I wanted to be, you know, I guess more aware of what's going on. I had a massive blind spot. Yeah. <laughs>